days away from the start of the RNC here in Cleveland, and protests are a major part of the conversation. Yeah, plenty of local groups organizing right now to counteract the chants that will likely fill the streets downtown. Mike Brookbank joins us now, and Mike, hundreds of Clevelanders, they are on a mission to promote peace. Yeah, Frank, more than 1,100 people plan to show up Sunday at the Lorraine Carnegie Bridge, where they will hold hands and circle the city with love. Black Lives Matter! They're the sounds set to fill the air during the RNC. And right now, uncertainty remains about safety when protesters hit the streets. Violence is not the answer. Antoinette Cartman Gay, ready to spread some love before the convention. This couldn't have come at, this, at, the, at a better time. The East Cleveland mother of four signing up to circle the city with love before the recent unrest in Louisiana, Minnesota, and Dallas. Even without those events, I still feel that this would be an event that is much needed for our city because there is a lot of violence here. Antoinette and her children will join hands with more than 1,100 people Sunday at the Lorraine Carnegie Bridge, where they will stand in silence for a half hour. Putting positive energy of love into the universe. Sister Rita Petrozello of St. Joseph's Church in Cleveland came up with the idea while talking with friends about the charged political climate and growing division in our country. The only thing that's stronger than the power of hate is the power of love. This growing movement started as a simple idea. I was just thinking of some small enterprise, like we would stand on our property with a sign and stand for love. Now as delegates and protesters arrive downtown, many will see the massive sign of solidarity during these troubling times. Circling the city with love could be one of the answers. Now to stretch from one end of the bridge to the other, about 2,000 people are going to need to show up to circle the city with love. Those interested should arrive at St. Ignatius High School at 1.30 Sunday afternoon. Live in the studio, Mike Brookbank, News Channel 5.